I got this feeling inside my brains It goes electric wavy when I make them A's All through fourth grade, all through my school We're flying up no ceiling when we're in our zone I've got that sunshine in my pocket Looking forward to a good day I feel I can do everything when I try I can't stop myself from learning Moving up academically Hello students, I hope you are having a wonderful day. Today we're going to be learning how to solve two digits times two digit multiplication using partial products, okay? So this is just another way to do this, all right? So based on the other video, let's get started, shall we? So we can use partial products to find the product in problems like 35 times 24. Okay. Partial products are parts of the whole product, but they're part of it, okay? That's why we have to add at the end to make the whole product. See how we got green, then yellow, then red, then purple, I think, whatever that color is. That's, and then we added the whole, and that's how we got the whole thing. It's just like that, okay? So first we need to write each factor in expanded form, okay? So we have 30 plus five and then 20 plus four, okay? So that's the values. That's why I say when, that we're gonna be multiplying each digit times its value, okay? So next we multiply each of the parts to create partial products. So four times five, Okay, which is the values, they're already in its values. Four times five equals 20. Then we multiply the value of four times 30. Okay, four times 30, power of 10, thank you, which equals 120. Okay, next we multiply the value of the two, which is 20 times five. Okay, sorry, I wasn't clicking it. <laughs> Power of 10, thank you, which equals 100, okay? Next, we multiply the value of 3 and 2, which is 20 times 30. Power of 10, thank you again, which equals 600. And then lastly, we just got to add up all these numbers. Add all the partial products to find the product, which equals 840, okay? Next, we're going to do it one more time, so make sure you pay attention. So, we're going to break 36 times 18. We're going to write each factor in its expanded uh, form, or its values, which is 30 plus 6, and then 10 plus 8. Okay, next we just multiply each of the parts to, to create partial products. Okay, 8 times 6, which equals... 48, good. And then 8 times 30, which equals 240, good. Next, we do 10 times 6, which equals 60. Next, we do 10 times 30, which equals 300. Lastly, we just add up all the partial products to find the product. And it equals 648. So now it's your turn. Go ahead and do 16 times 15. I've already broken down the values, which is 10 plus 6 and 10 plus 5. Go ahead and get started, okay? Pause the video right here and see if you can figure it out. All right, let's see what you got, okay? So we're going to multiply the values now to create partial products. Five times six equals 30. Five times 10 equals 50. 10 times six equals 60. And then 10 times 10 equals 100. Good. Now we just gotta add all the partial products to find the product. And this equals 240. Good job. So that's how we do partial products, okay? 
I hope this helps. Have a good day. Bye.